Chapter 2 Charlie and the Chocolate Factory Just then, Mr. Bucket, Charlie's father, came into the room. He was home from the toothpaste factory and he was waving an evening newspaper rather excitedly. Have you heard the news? He cried. He held up the paper so that they could see the huge headline. The headline said, Wonka Factory to be opened at last to lucky few. You mean people are actually going to be allowed to go inside the factory? Cried Grandpa Joe. Read us what it says quickly. All right, said Mr. Bucket, smoothing out the newspaper. Listen. Evening Bulletin Mr. Willy Wonka, the confectionery genius whom nobody has seen for the last ten years, sent out the following notice today. I, Willy Wonka, have decided to allow five children, just five, mind you, and no more, to visit my factory this year. These lucky five will be allowed to see all the secrets and the magic of my factory. Then, at the end of the tour, as a special present, all of them will be given enough chocolates and sweets to last them for the rest of their lives. So watch out for the golden tickets. Five golden tickets have been printed on golden paper and these five golden tickets have been hidden underneath the ordinary wrapping paper of five ordinary chocolate bars. These five chocolate bars may be anywhere, in any shop, in any street, in any town, in any country in the world, upon any counter where Wonka sweets are sold. And the five lucky finders of these five golden tickets are the only ones who will be allowed to visit my factory and see what it's like now inside. Good luck to you all and happy hunting. Signed, Willy Wonka, the man's daughter, muttered Grandma Josephine. He is brilliant cried Grandpa Joe. He is a magician. Just imagine what will happen now. The whole world will be searching for those golden tickets. Everyone will be buying Wonka's chocolate bars in the hope of finding one. He'll sell more than even before. Oh, how exciting it would be to find one. And all the chocolates and sweets that you could eat for the rest of your life. Free! said Grandpa George. Just imagine that. They would have to deliver them in a truck, said Grandpa Georgina. It makes me quite ill to think of it, said Grandma Josephine. Nonsense, cried Grandpa Joe. Wouldn't it be something? Charlie to open a bar of chocolate and see a golden ticket glistening inside. It certainly would, Grandpa, but there isn't a hope, Charlie said sadly. I only get one bar a year. You never know, darling, said Grandma Georgina. It's your birthday next week. You have as much chance as anybody else. I'm afraid that simply isn't true, said Grandpa George. The kids who are going to find the golden tickets are the ones who can afford to buy bars of chocolate every day. Our Charlie gets only one a year. There isn't a hope. But then, things did happen for the better. Charlie won a golden ticket and got this once-in-a-lifetime chance to go on an adventure into the Wonka factory.